Next, we travel to Tasmania, where divers discovered something very unusual. We went off down with another couple of guys on the boat to uh, jump in and film some seals. What Mick Barron saw next took him completely by surprise. Well, I jumped in the water first, and then my camera was passed down to me. And while I was setting it up, I saw this strange animal about oh, 30 metres away. And I thought, wow, what's this? So I yelled out to the other two guys on the boat, come on, guys, get in here. You've got something here you'll never see again in your life. An enormous tube-shaped structure was hanging in the water. It was about 10 metres long. When I touched it, it didn't actually react. It just sort of felt like a soft jelly-like substance. And strangest of all, the tube was glowing with an eerie blue light. Was its origin even alien? See, I've been diving for quite a long time, so 40 years. So when I saw this one, I thought, wow, this is a pretty unusual experience. So what was this gigantic glowing tube? And was it even alive? When it comes to the ocean, we've barely scratched the surface. It's often said that the deep sea is Earth's last unexplored frontier. Teeming with alien looking life. But even these bizarre creatures have features that we can recognize. Eyes limbs, teeth. The thing that the divers encountered had none of these. But there is another possibility. You see, some marine animals live together, forming a much bigger organism. Take coral reefs. Corals are formed by colonies of creatures known as polyps. These tiny animals build a hard exoskeleton around them. And living together in their billions, they form some of the world's largest and most spectacular structures. Like the Great Barrier Reef. And it's not just corals that take to communal living. Our giant tube is actually a colony of tiny animals known as a pyrosome. <laughs> 